Hello, and welcome to the very first episode of the Deals on Wheels podcast brought to you by Deals on Wheels. I am your host, Carter Farthing, and this is going to be the episode where we really set the groundwork and I introduce myself and run through the history of Deals on Wheels and where I want Deals on Wheels to end up in the future. Uh, this is solely working as a trial run. Uh, I don't know if this microphone is set up properly or if these cameras or are even going to work. Um, so if you are hearing crystal clear audio and seeing two different camera angles, uh, congratulations. Everything ended up working, so good on us. Um, I pretty much just want to introduce a new office space and introduce myself. Uh, if you aren't familiar and haven't seen any of our older content, um, I am Carter Farthing. Uh, I grew up in the Pacific Northwest. I'm going to be 21 this year, and I have been drifting ever since I was 15. Uh, I've had all sorts of builds from S chassis to R32s to uh, JZX90s, K trucks, everything in between, Hondas, Miatas, everything. Uh, we'll get into that further on down the down the road. Um, but this episode isn't really going to be about cars. It's going to be about what the future of this channel is going to entail, um, what my plans are for this podcast, and basically what I want to end up doing for the rest of my life. Um, this this podcast is what I want to focus all of my energy into for the foreseeable future. Uh, I want to start interviewing guests, whether that be YouTubers or Instagram people that have been uh, building their cars for a number of years that they want to bring their cars over and we do a long form content uh, style recording on the history of their car. Uh, I want to bring them in and Either we do a video, kind of like how uh, Hoonigan was doing in 2018 and 2019, where they were doing those uh, build breakdown series, uh, where they would have the person come in and they'd get the car up on the lift, and they would kind of do a, a once-over about all of the important suspension pieces and all of the kind of the big ticket pieces of the cars, and then... There's also the longer form content that Aaron Losey was doing with the, the Lone Star Drift and the Drift Week series where he would sit down with drivers from the Drift Week and he would just talk to them for about half an hour, 45 minutes about their builds and about their rides and what they've done to them and what they mean to them. And I've always been a huge advocate for longer form content like that. Uh, it's always been super easy to listen to uh, while you're driving or working or cooking or playing video games. It's just super easy to pop an earphone in and listen to someone talk about something that piques your interest. And obviously, if you're listening to this, you're interested in drift cars. If you're seeing this, you're interested in Japanese rides and wheels and parts in some sort um, or else I don't know why you would be listening. Um, but yeah, Deals on Wheels started Almost two years ago, just very, very small time, I was buying and flipping cars and Japanese wheels um, on OfferUp. I started locally, uh, and then late 2019, I started importing wheels from Japan, and then I started buying right-hand drive cars and modifying them and started selling imported, imported cars as well. Um, I sold half a dozen right-hand drive cars in 2019. Um, and I, I was happy with doing that. It was paying the bills. It was doing whatever. Um, but I want to drive. I've been a driver my entire life. I love drifting. Uh, I love making drifting content. Uh, I haven't, I haven't made too much of it. I've made a couple of small Instagram videos, but I've been watching drifting content on YouTube for half a decade. Um, and I've been watching these people progress, whether that be, either just their driving skills or their their production skills or just their their well-being. I've seen these people go from literally nothing to being successful store uh, owners where they have uh, full-time merchandise fulfillment teams and they have a garage full of drift cars. And I want that for myself. I, I don't know if it's selfish to quit everything and just completely focus on myself and getting myself behind the wheel of a drift car or something of the sort, but that's what I want to do. I want to make content to fund driving trips and driving escapades uh, for the rest of my life. Um, I do have a girlfriend. We've been together for 
about as long as I've been drifting. We've been together since I was about 15. She, or yeah, about 15. And uh, she's amazing. I plan on marrying that girl one day. Um, but I don't want this to get in the way of that. So I'm basically going to try to focus on being the best boyfriend and the best drifter that I can without having a job. So let's see how that turns out. Anyways, um, I really want to get into uh, what my plans are for this podcast. Uh, I have something written down uh, on this piece of paper behind the camera here, and it just reads, what is the end goal? My end goal, like I kind of mentioned before, is to be a professional race car driver. Uh, I really want to compete in Formula Drift events. I really want to be competitive in the drift space. Um, I also drive autocross and road, road racing. Uh, I have an 05 Mustang GT that was built for road racing and autocross that we have definitely taken to a couple drift events as well. It does just fine. It's got a dual caliper setup and bucket seats and cage and all that. Uh, the car does just fine, but uh, I really want to film and uh, document my progression as a driver uh, on this on this on this channel. Uh, I want to talk about it on the podcast. I want to film it and document it for just the regular videos. Um, I guess I haven't really mentioned that yet. I want to start uploading podcasts every single week, and I also want to upload vlog style videos every week as well. Uh, probably vlog style videos the beginning of the week and podcasts towards the end of the week. Um, I haven't set a schedule yet, so definitely follow us on Instagram to see any updates on that. Um, but yeah, this is already going pretty well. I feel pretty comfortable behind the camera. I have tried to film this a couple times in the past and something was either corrupted or the lighting was weird, so I had to refilm this, but if you are seeing this version of it right now, I'm glad that everything worked out. Um, I just, uh, I don't really know where to go from here. Uh, this is the podcast. This is the office. Um, we do have a team of six sponsored drivers uh, that Deals on Wheels has been sponsoring for the last couple of months. I did start something called the Sponsored Drivers Collection, where I made a small batch of... I guess, accessories. Um, you can actually see them above me here. They're uh, air fresheners uh, that are uh, inspired by all of the sponsored drivers' cars. So um, they have the S chassis, the R chassis, and uh, there's a Z32 as well that uh, our sponsee down in Texas drives. Uh, our sponsees are sp scattered all across the country. We've got two local to us, one over in Pennsylvania, one in Canada, and then two down in Texas. Um, they all drive modified turbo Nissans from the 90s, um, so that's pretty cool that it worked out that way. Uh, I put out a, an application on the website about three months ago to see if there were people from the Instagram that wanted to support Deals on Wheels and represent our brand on their cars, and... We had over 100 applications come in, and I narrowed the results down to six drivers, and uh, we've been working together for ever since then, and I went ahead and hand-drew all of their cars and took those drawings and turned them into the accessories that you can see in the sponsored drivers collection, available on dealsonwheels.com, link in bio as always. Uh, definitely check those out if you haven't seen those before. Uh, they also... The Deals on Wheels collection includes uh, little enamel pins and uh, and stickers, waterproof stickers of all of the uh, the driver's cars as well. So those are pretty cool. Um, I'm I have always been a form of long form content. Uh, like I mentioned, the Lone Star Drift uh, series has definitely been a big favorite of mine this year. But I've been listening to podcasts for the better part of a decade. Uh, I've been listening to the Joe Rogan Experience ever since I was in high school. Uh, and yeah, I just really want to sit down in front of the camera with a microphone and build a relationship with you guys. Uh, I've never done anything like this before. So if I'm awkward or my eyes are kind of drifting from one camera to the other, I apologize. Um, it's all new to me. So bear with me. Um, definitely make sure to follow us on all of our social medias, including TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, Pinterest. Uh, everything is at D-L-Z-O-N-W-L-Z. Uh, it's Deals on Wheels spelled phonetically. I like the way it looks, so that's 
what we went with. Um, thank you all for listening. I don't know how long this episode is going to be. It's probably going to be the shortest episode that we put out by far, but I, I want it to be short and sweet. Grab your attention. Uh, I just wanted to introduce myself. Hopefully you guys have liked what you've seen so far. Uh, make sure you follow us. I will uh, see you on the next one. Thank you. <laughs>